So in other videos I've spoken about some of the challenges that I've had and why I do what I do and now I want to talk about a moment in my life when a lot of trauma was triggered and I basically ended up falling apart emotionally and I've written a number of points down on a piece of paper here so I can give a fairly accurate description of what took place and so from 2003 until 2010 I was I did what I could to develop more confidence and to feel more emotionally stable and so I was trying to build myself up and this was a time when I mainly focused on my mind so using different techniques and tools to change my beliefs and to settle myself down up top because of this point in time not over this period of time I thought that it was all about the mind so all about changing what was going on up top and through doing this I would be able to settle down to feel more confident and to live a better life and just as I started to settle down in 2000 or over this period of time I started to or should I say towards the end of this period of time so around 2010 I was feeling good about myself, I was feeling confident, felt confident going out socialising and my success, my relational success was good, things were going well, I had good friends and I felt confident meeting women and my writing. Uh, I think at this point, 2010, I hadn't started writing but I but I just generally I felt good I felt as though things were going in the right direction and then in the middle of 2010 there was my mother was unwell something happened to her and this rocked me but I did my best to keep it together and to carry on and then in 2011 there was another big experience because my father en ended up passing on towards the end of 2011 and for many years he was unwell he had bone cancer but he carried on and so this was another challenging experience in my life and and then in 2013 the beginning of relationship came to an end and this this was another thing and this is when everything got too much because although I was able to keep it together up until this point there was still a lot going on there's still a lot going on within me it was making it hard for me to keep it together and in the end of 2012 still at this point I still believed it was all about my mind so I had hypnotherapy and, and this kind of patched me up and allowed me to just carry on and to live my life 
So then in 2013, in March 2013, more trauma was unlocked and I could no longer keep it together. And like Humpty Dumpty, I hadn't fallen off a wall, but I had fallen apart. And at this point, it was a real battle for me to keep going. To stay alive, I could have easily have called it a day at that point. And although I did have the understandings of what was going on, I knew I had a good insight into why I felt as I did. Because I was in so much pain, it didn't it didn't matter, it didn't make it go away. And this was a time when I experienced a lot of fear, a lot of terror, a lot of anxiety, extreme inner instability. And I felt extremely powerless and helpless. My body was often cold and I often felt disconnected. And it was as though I was in a war zone. It didn't matter what was going on around me. I felt as though I was under attack, as though my life was a risk. And what had been triggered related to what I experienced as a child and perhaps before then. But a lot of this stuff came up. And it was a very awful experience. I had to really hold on. And I could have, as I said, easily have called it a day. And at this point in time, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know how I was going to move forward because the approach or the approaches I tried up until this point hadn't really done the job. They allowed me to patch myself up, to patch my false self up and to come across as though I had it together and as I was confident and and all the rest of it, but they hadn't done the job. But although I didn't know how I was going to move beyond what I was going through, I believed there was a way. I believed there was a way through it. And I wasn't going to give up until I'd found a way. So as the years went by, and I stopped focusing on purely my mind and started to work through the trauma in my body, I was gradually able to settle down and to experience inner peace and to become more integrated. So that when people met me, they thought they would say, you seem really calm. And it wasn't that this was an act, it was because I was. Because I became calmer through doing this work. And of course, this wasn't something that took place overnight. It took many years of trying different things until I was able to experience inner peace and to settle down. So my message to you is that if you are in a bad way, there is a way through this. You can go from feeling all at sea to being calm, to being settled to being more integrated, 
to know what it feels like to experience inner peace. So if you are not in a good way now, please know that it will change. We have to reach out for support and whether you reach out to me or to someone else, the main thing is that you do reach out because you don't deserve to experience life in this way forever. What you experienced as a child wasn't your fault and your life can be different. So please reach out for the support that you deserve so you can slowly transform your life.